What's up guys, Wildboy here. Uh, sorry I haven't been uploading, I haven't made a video in about a week, but I just wanted to take some time off and just think about a couple of things. Uh, first off, I made a video the other day or a day or two ago uh, saying I didn't get the job at Journeys. I felt like a pathetic, uh, worthless loser that I can't find a job anywhere. No one would hire me because of my disability and it was just upsetting at the moment. I, I was crying on the video, I deleted it because nobody commented on I got feedback or anything like that. But I just wanted to make this video saying, hello, I'm better now. I've been filling out applications left and right again. And I've got an email uh, earlier today. I apologize for being quiet. It's like 11 o'clock at night. I gotta be up at 7.30 the next morning. Uh, go get breakfast, do some yard work next door across the street and then go to the interview. And also I'm gonna get a haircut tomorrow. I don't know why my parents want me to give me a haircut and that's what I think I'm worried about. I'm going to get this haircut, go to the interview and not get the job. So I, I mean, I already scheduled the appointment, so it's already done deal. I'm getting a haircut tomorrow, but I wanted to make this video. Yeah, uh, I am. I do have a job interview. I got an email saying that this place was interested in interviewing me and I hope that I get the job because I felt so positive that I was like, I'm feeling hopeful. I think I'll get, I have a good shot at this call it journey, uh, the journey shoe store. And I called back Friday and I asked, Hey, is there an update? And I'm like, Oh yeah, we already filled that place. And I'm like, Oh, okay. So go, sorry. Have a good day. And then hang up. I'm like, okay, well fuck off then. But that, that really upset me to know him because I literally felt so fucking confident and that like, Oh, I'm feeling hopeful. I have experience with shoes. I can work this many hours and I'm feeling hopeful come Friday freaking didn't hire me. So I'm not be shopping at good journeys. I'm not be shopping back at the shoe store I worked in. Go to shoot carnival my best bet but anyway enough of that i will i am um, um i am um, do have a job interview tomorrow tomorrow and uh today's june 13th 2022 at 11 05 but i have a, a job interview tomorrow at this place in the mall called francesca's <laughs> if you don't know what it is it's basically a women's boutique store but i'm gonna try to be apply, uh, applying for the same position i was in at the shoe store that I was in a sales associate. I'm experienced with sales and all that. I would say I'm a decent sales associate. I can help you find shoes in that range. So I don't know. I'm gonna believe if I get this job, I'm no idea where I'm gonna be working with this place. Like I said, it's a place called Francesca's. It is a women's kind of like boutique store, sell purses and all, and all that. So hopefully, I got an email. I was a little bit skipping at first because the person spelled my name wrong. It's C O. People spell it T O L. It, they spell it C O L T E N. My name is C O L T O N. I was skeptical at first. I'm like, okay. I'll go tomorrow. Hopefully they said that and I don't get arrested or whatnot. And that was the thing, pet peeve. I don't know. I mean, it has a pet peeve of mine when people spell, spell my name. Whether it be on Facebook or something, C-O-L-T-E-N. That's not how you spell my name. My name is C-O-L-T-O-N. I have my one of my great aunts. She has it in her head that my name is C-O-L-T-O-N. Every time she posts it on Facebook or something like that, she spells it E-N. And my great-grandma passed away in 2016. Uh, my great aunt wrote the obituary and she screwed it all up. No offense. She put my name wrong. Uh, she put the wrong last names for my cousins, but enough of that. But like I said, we I do have a job interview um, tomorrow at one o'clock and Francesca's. If you don't want, if you don't want what it means, like I said, I explained it. Look it up. See what it may be. Also, I wanted to point out that I got this in the mail. I changed my mind about it, but after being accused, I was really in the rage of being accused of. Um, being called it being called fired for race it being a racist and cussing out things which is not true some people accuse me of being racist when we all when i simply said that i wasn't i was simply agreeing with one person said i don't know why they made it out to me so what i did i changed my mind about it but i applied i applied for a sh uh the judge judy show which that doesn't it that ended back in july last summer uh i tried to apply for the her new show judy justice um they're out of production, so I got an email, but I got an email, uh, I applied for this person, I'm not going to say who it is, I'm, like I said, I changed my mind, but it's for the show, The People's Court. Now, it's kind of like, it's a court TV show, and the judge is Judge Malin, Malin but I changed my mind about it, I'm like, not going to let go on that, so there's a lot of stuff to do it, so, but I just wanted to point that out. If you think I'm going to go on a court show, look like an idiot, not happening. I'll figure it out, I'll just let it go. I was just irritated at the time, because I applied, I sent that out like literally the day i got accused and got fired for my other job but i decided not to go again so i just let it go uh but anyway i just want to make this video saying hello i'm better now hopefully i'm not be like not be like video oh i got a job interview and i'm feeling hopeful i'm gonna get this job and i don't get the job so but like i said i'm gonna end the video here hopefully i'm not gonna say i'm hopeful i'm positive or what i'm because look i would end the last video just say i have a job interview hope i get it tomorrow hope it all goes well so I'll probably make a video something sometime later in the week. Um, also, 
my dumbass decided to do another credit loan. <sighs> I don't know, this one was Finger Hut, and it said I got pre-approved for $600. My mom got approved for it a while back. I applied for it. I got approved. What I did, bought me an iPad. First time I bought an Apple product. What do you gotta do? Um, but I got so much, so I don't know what I did. I should have waited until I would have got the job first because I had to pull out an overdraft fee of five hundred dollars because just to have money in, I can't to have money in, so I'm under, I'm, I'm negative five hundred, four hundred and ninety nine dollars in my bank account. So hopefully I do get this job. I basically I'm at, I need to find a job as soon as fucking possible because I've asked for donations, I've asked for pledges on Patreon, GoFundMe, PayPal, Cash App. Nobody wants to do anything, so I'm done with that shit. Hopefully, I'll figure it out on my own. If I have to do it, I'll be a panhandler, a car, a panhandler in the Walmart parking lot. No, I won't. I won't do that. I'm not desperate for money. I'm desperate for a job. I need to find a job ASAP. Like I said, I explained many times, I'm on disability. Certain places I can and can't work. I can't work in fast food. I can't work in restaurants. There's a severe and egg peanut allergy. I can't work in factories because how bad my fucking allergies are. So hopefully, the people, whoever interviews me tomorrow will hopefully understand and hopefully hire me before the interview's over but hopefully hopefully i don't get this haircut and i fuck it up and i don't get the job otherwise i'm going back to the place give me a refund and staple the hair to my hair but anyway just wanted to give an update saying hello i'm good feeling hopeful no, but i'm not gonna say that i said that last time and look where it got me so so i'm saying hello i'm doing all right got a job interview tomorrow getting a haircut so hopefully Hopefully this will work out. So until then, see you guys next time. Take it easy.